Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review on the Revolution or Makeup Revolution Rocks Saurus Color Burst Palette. Now I mentioned this a few weeks back in a video and I said, would you guys like to see a review, kind of demo, swatches, what I think, um, review, and you guys said yes. So that is what we're going to be doing today. If you have not already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload five days a week, Monday through Friday, and I'd love to have you come join because once we hit 500 subscribers, we're going to be doing a giveaway. So... Let's go ahead and get started. This palette retails for $15. You can find it on the Ulta website if you are in the States. You can also purchase it on the Makeup Revolution website. It comes with 15 shades. There are a variety of shades. You can do a neutral look. You can do a bright, colorful look. Really, there are a lot of options here. Um, I'm sorry, it comes with 18 shades, so you're paying less than a dollar per shadow. That is pretty darn good in my opinion. You also get a giant mirror, which I really like when there is a mirror in a palette. She also has this contour palette, contour and highlight palette, and I'm wearing it today. I am wearing the two lighter shades of the contour and then this highlighter. Um, I've tried the other highlighters and they just don't do much for me. But the video, I mean, like, these are a couple of the other highlighters, just very lackluster. The video is not on this. I do like the contour side of this, so this is fantastic. Um, I purchased it last summer, and I never really used it. But I thought, you know, you might as well get, like, show everybody what it's about. Makeup Revolution right now is under fire. You may not care about it. Some people do really care about it when purchasing product. Um, I know the, the owners of brands and brand ethics and whatnot mean a lot to people. Like for me, I don't purchase. I don't like purchasing from brands that test on animals. So personally, you won't see me purchasing anything from Lancome, from L'Oreal, from Revlon. Those kinds of brands, you probably aren't going to see a review from me because. I just don't purchase from them. I um, decided to me start mentioning in reviews if they have any kind of controversies or anything, just because it, just because it's helpful. So um, Makeup Revolution is currently going through an issue with Lunar Beauty, which is Manny MUA's brand. I have not tried anything from Lunar Beauty, but I am interested in that Strawberry Dream palette and the Spell, the Spell book, Spellbound Spellbook palette. That is very pretty, but um, yeah, a Manny posted a video about how Makeup Revolution copied, per se, um, his highlighters. They put a statement out on their Instagram, and that's kind of getting taken care of, but the facets and everything on those powders on the compacts are exact, so very interesting. Makeup Revolution is known to be a dupe brand that is nothing against them that's not a negative statement but keep in mind they are known to dupe brands for example they did dupe the chocolate palettes like from Too Faced they did dupe those and made their own version of them um they also have duped like cover effects with their um liquid highlighters their conceal and define foundation has been seen to be a similarity I guess to the Shape Tape Foundation from Tarte. I can't really think of anything else. Also do have two other brands. They have Makeup Revolution, they have I Heart Revolution, which is kind of more fun and like they have done peach things just like Too Faced has done. Um, they also have just come out with these nine pan palettes that look kind of like ColourPop. I Heart Revolution does. And then they have Revolution Pro, which is more, I don't know how to say it, like more professional looking brand. Like I am wearing a Revolution Pro um, skin finish in the shade Radiance. And this looks a lot like MAC to me. And it's even called a skin finish, which is what MAC does. But this is what that looks like. I kind of wanted to pull in some other Revolution products for this video. I think that's kind of interesting. They also have, I have the palette. Let me find it. They also have this palette from Revolution Pro. It's called the New Neutral Palette. It's a nice cheetah print, but it looks exactly like the Huda Beauty um, neutral-ish palette. It even has like the cream base in it. 
just like who that does that is on you if you do not feel comfortable purchasing because of those reasons you totally don't have to um, we're gonna go through swatches first i also wanted to let you know that rub makeup revolution is cruelty free and what i just noticed is on the makeup revolution ones they don't have anything about pita but on this revolution pro skin finish they have the pita certification interesting so they are all cruelty free though maybe if you'd like me to do like a maybe review look on this with this palette let me know so i did notice there were a couple of shades that just did not perform well with swatches at all you will see them and i'll point them out to you after we go through them but the first row we have all the bright colors and this is going to be timmy lemonade lavender fetch dinosaur and blue lagoon second row has all of the more neutral tones we got a nice cool green in here and a deep brown but these shades are golden hour bang bang princess peaches botanical and cocoa the last row is a little bit more like purples reds maybe a more glam look and this is red velvet constellations memories royal twilight and sky shades that i noticed immense issues with in terms of swatching was definitely lavender that really just did not work for me um, in swatching another one was memories which is this purple one and then royal so i wanted to talk a little bit about royal here when you swatch it it's like oh my gosh it's like a wet metallic beautiful but if you put it right on your hand it just it doesn't look see now it's kind of not doing it as much but in the swatch it like, didn't show up anything but it's also not very opaque if you can tell there's still a lot on my hand where i could do another swatch so i was noticing some issues when i was filming a swatch just before this video another one that i was noticing was sky this one and what i noticed with these with these really metallic shimmery shades is that when you swatch there's still a ton left on your finger so this is sky the really nice metallic silver right there and see okay it's not doing it as much now maybe it was a fluke but i do notice that with some shimmers when you apply them or you swatch them you still have a ton left on your finger where it almost looks like you didn't put any on and so that really irks me and really bothers me and so I, I cannot stand that i can see issues with the purples and the reds because those shades are the hardest to make now i do not since these are just keep that in mind purples and reds are incredibly hard to make and yeah that can be an issue at times so i have already primed my eyes with a little bit of concealer and i set them with set, set that with powder and now we're going to do a look with this i am really liking to do maybe something with botanical maybe keep it a little more neutral too but it is really nice because you are getting a lot of variety here i have mentioned this before but a lot of palettes they're really aimed towards one certain look for example, the new Neutral Palette by Revolution Pro. This has a certain kind of look to it. Neutral, pinky, purple. Kind of get a little bit of everything. And maybe that's why it's called the Color Burst Palette. But we are going to zoom up and do a look with it. It should be known that just because a shadow swatches not how you would like it does not mean it's not going to perform on the eyes like you like it. Sometimes doing it with a brush is different than doing it with a fingertip and so on and so forth. One thing that I noticed with this palette is that there's not really browns or anything. They're all going to be some sort of color. Orange, pink, red, purple, champagne the only really brown shade that we have is the shade cocoa right here so when doing a look it's hard to do say an all blue look because you only have a couple blues and that may be a drawback for some of you as well because you know you want to do a certain look but you have a bunch of different colors where it's hard to create a full look if that makes sense but i'm gonna go into the shade peaches which is this nice light pink shade i'm using my og brush this is a beach cosmetics brush 
Um, I did notice when I was swatching them a lot, some shades are softer than others. But this is also a very powdery formula. When I do, if you look back in the palette, look at that. There is a lot of kickback. When I am just applying this to my eye in the crease, I have noticed with Makeup Revolution shadows, they are kind of hit and miss here and there. Um, I really liked the Emily Edit by Emily Noel 83. The Wands palette was actually wonderful. I know there was a lot of mixed reviews and that stuff, but I personally really liked it. I do have other Makeup Revolution reviews. I did a like face and eye palette review. And I, uh, I filmed the summer. I'll link that down below for you. But I have noticed with some of their eyeshadows that they just have not performed how I would necessarily like them to. Um, I will go for Makeup Revolution for a great drugstore brand. I find some of their things to be really at, at the great, a great price point because for me, I don't really, I can't always afford to get the big, the, the big names. And so Makeup Revolution makes it easy because of their great price point. Now, do I agree with them kind of copying Lunar Beauty? No, I don't. I mean, I've, this isn't the first time that they have done that unfortunately. We are going to go with Memories, which is this color, and like I said before, this was kind of giving me some issues um, in, sw in the swatching process, so I'm going to show you how it performs on the eye. I'm going to go with this crease brush. This is a Jaclyn Hill JH36. We are just going to do a little bit of a tap tap and a pat pat motion. I did that in my St. Patrick's Day inspired look, and I really liked the results of that. See, it's already looking kind of sheer and just, it's not really opaque. I mean, it's a nice shade, but I feel like it could definitely be more opaque than it is. There we go, that's kind of the other side. I like the way this looks. I kind of, I wish it was a little more opaque, to be honest. So on the lower lash line, I kind of want to go into Fetch. I'm going to try and use as many different shades as I can, just so I can demonstrate to you how these shades work. And a lot of Makeup Revolution's collabs, I have never heard of the creator, but I, I'm not reviewing the creator. And when I review different like collabs and stuff, I'm not really reviewing them, I'm just reviewing the product. So this pink is going on really well. I really like this. Now that is a cool look. I like this so far. Way up close. That shade performed really, really well. I want to go in and highlight my brow bone. It has a nice matte white. I love to see that in a palette. And you only need the little, the, the smallest amount for a nice brow bone highlight, but it just does wonders. So I think I'm going to deepen up the outer corner just a little bit because I'd like to test out a different shade on the lid. We're going to go into cocoa, but I'm going to use it sparingly. You know, I don't want to have this be smoked out or anything, but I'm kind of doing like the pat, like the pat and blend with your finger technique. I just want it to be like just smoked out a little bit. So I'm going to take a flat synthetic brush and a little bit of my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and we're going to cut the crease. I'm, I just, I want to get really good at it. I don't want my brush to just sit with a bunch of gunk on it so I'm just going to kind of spot clean it here. I'm going to go into Royal which is the shade that was originally giving me some trouble, but I'm just going to apply it with my finger. Mm, no, I'm not gonna apply this with my finger. Just kidding. No, I like applied a little bit and I'm like, 
I'm gonna take this same brush now that I have spot cleaned it a bit. I do not like it when I have a product that I have to get wet in order for it to accurately perform. I just, I don't agree to that. I feel like if you have these stunning metallics, I should be able to just pop it on my lid and just be shocked. So I am noticing that this is kind of a hard shade to work with. Yeah, I'm going to try a different brush. This just looks chunky to me. I think I'm just going to try it with my finger. But this shade I think is just being very problematic. This is making this, like my eyelid just look really like overly wrinkly. Do you see that? My eyelid is not wrinkly like this. I'm gonna take the shade Constellations and I'm gonna put that right over this royal shade because this royal shade is no. No, 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 no. I'm putting my finger in it and just patting it right over it. I really don't like how this lid looks incredibly wrinkly and bunchy. And this is the same concealer, the same MAC paint pot that I always use. I know it's not my primer that's doing this. You can even see it. Look at that. I'm going to go into one of my OG palettes that I love. I'm going to go into my Tati Beauty palette. This, if you want good eyeshadow, this is it, okay? I'm going to go into Aura, Aura Metallic, and I'm going to attempt to remedy this. Wow, I've just never seen that before. I'm very disappointed. Because of this, I'm going to film another video. I just want this off my eye. I'm not happy with this. I'm not even going to do eyeliner. I'm just going to do mascara. I'm going to go in with a little Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced. And this also created fallout. And it's not brushing away. I just do not like... Look at that. Look at my eye. You can see all the heavy creasing and build up and I just, I do not like that. And my other eye doesn't really have this, but really close up. I just, I can't even explain it, but it just looks, makes my eye look wrinkly. I not so much, but this eye, definitely. So what I enjoyed about this palette was the blendability of the mattes. I thought that it blended really nicely. I really liked how memories actually turned out on the eye. Um, I know, like I said before, this is something that you can see with eyeshadows. They don't always swatch well, but they could perform better on the eyes. And that really was a prime example of that. I also really liked the shade Peaches and how that performed. Um, a lot of the matte shades swatching some were pressed harder, some were not pressed as hard. It was really kind of inconsistent in that way, and it also affected the swatching of the colors. Like, for example, Fetch. Fetch was harder pressed than Blue Lagoon, and that created some differences because this did not swatch as well as this one. So, in that aspect, I did not like that. Um, I also did not like in the swatching process, some of the shimmers just looked not good, um, especially Royal. That shade was horrendous, and I don't think I'm going to pick that up again. Um, Constellations was alright. I'm already getting a little bit of hard pan. Do you see that? Getting a little bit of hard pan already. Not a good sign. So the royal shade, I did not like how it literally made my eye lo eyelid look wrinkly. I really don't think this is a palette that I'm going to recommend to you. Now, when I do these reviews, they're not, I'm not reviewing the brand and I'm not saying the brand is bad because I have tried some fantastic 
products from Makeup Revolution that I love. Their highlighter quad is amazing. Their liquid liner, amazing. Their mascara, pretty darn good. Um, the highlighter I'm wearing today, I love it. It makes me look so blingy and so good. I've tried some of their blushes that I love, but this palette is just not it for me. I like the comp two of the H shades in this palette. Um, I mean, the highlighter is pretty good right here. These two contour shades are great. These two, eh? um, just because they're a little dark for me. These highlighters around here just did not perform. I just, I'm not a fan of that, but these two contour shades are great. I will not be recommending this to you guys. I think that there are better Makeup Revolution palettes out there. The Emily Edit The Wants pal palette is great. The Needs palette is great. I would say go for one of those if you're looking to get a palette from Makeup Revolution. Let me get my Emily palette out for you. It is a little scraped up. I've had it for a while. I purchased it when it first came out. It is a little bigger. It does come with 24 shades. So beautiful. Great. It's not as vibrant as the Roxy or the Roxaurus palette, just in comparison. But you do get shades like this, like purples, greens, reds, pinks, you know, stuff like that, that can really transform a look. For $5 more, you get six more shades, and I think that is quite a deal. I would say if you're looking for a good Makeup Revolution palette, go with the Emily Edit The Wants palette. I would say pass on this palette. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And again, this is not to be negative towards the brand or negative towards Roxy. This is just my opinion. And if you love this palette, keep loving it. Keep keeping, keep on keeping on. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.